This is the pinball drill, and I use this to build motivation and excitement um, for novice dogs, for advanced dogs, all dogs. Um, it works just like a pinball machine. You pull the pin back a little bit, you get a little bit of power, you pull the pin back a lot, um, and your pinball shoots forward with a lot of power. So really the goal is to build excitement and motivation, get the dog to want to play the game. Um, it's useless to teach them how to play if they don't want to play in the first place. Um, so that's really your, your primary goal. So um, this also teaches them to stay at source um, while you're further away from them. It teaches them to hold. Yes, yes, I know, you're showing off. Good boy, yay. Um, Spike's very excited to, to show you how this is played. Um, so it, it teaches them to hold its source. It teaches them to be independent of you and your treats. Your dog will be working off of your treats. These don't need to be hidden away in a pocket or whatever. Your dog should work straight from you and your reward to odor without taking any scenic routes or distractions. So really the only rules of this, you play fast and, and, and intensely, um, maybe 20 or 30 seconds, you should be able to get a fair amount of repetitions in at that point. Um, start really, really close so that there's no mistakes available to your dog. Um, and then you can increase the distance if your dog does well. They move straight from you to odor quickly. If they get distracted or they're slow, they stop and look back at you and ask if you're coming. Um, stay at that distance or maybe shorten up and increase your reward intensity so that they understand what the goal of the game really is. Um, move back a few times so you can get all the way back. Um, if you mark, continue to mark you know, at a distance and then go up and pay your dog. If you don't mark, this is a really good way to build up some duration. Um, otherwise, as soon as your dog gets odored, launch yourself forward so you can pay quickly at source. Um, but either way, really, um, you can add duration in, like I said, you add independence from the owner, you add independence from the cookies and the rewards, which takes a lot of dogs out in competition. Um, and the most important thing is you teach the dog to be motivated and excited and to have fun, um, and th that the goal of this game is really exciting and, and, and interesting. Um, so it works just like pinball. We're going to start really close at first. We're not going to put much pressure back on that pin, we're just going to pull it back a little bit. Um, but I don't let my dog make any mistakes, there's nowhere to go. Biddy, make it! Yay! And he did it. He gets good. Good boy. You can use this with toys too if you wish. Um, he's just been trained with treats, so that's what we do. Okay, so I'm gonna go back just a bit further. Then he find it. So I'm not moving my reward away from him. He's leaving it. Good boy. Come on. And you should have trouble getting your dog back here. He should want to keep moving forward. Ready? Find it. So they're quick, efficient. Boy. We're gonna come back one more time. Come on. Ready? Find it. So he should move off. Good boy. Yay! And if you mark it, um, you're still gonna mark it and then go up and pay. Come on, ready? Ready, find it. Go, find it. Yes, good boy. Okay, good boy. Come on. Ready, 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 ready? Ready, so you should get this. Just like, ready, ready, find it. Speed and excitement should be hard. Your dog should want to move forward. Come on. Ready? Ready, find it. Ready, find it. So I never remove the word from my dog. I know it was on the floor. The reward's always available to my dog. Ready? Go. Find it. And he chooses to leave it voluntarily. He'll stay there.